So, I was watching a video where Nina said she was going to do a year in review video. So I decided I'd beat her to the punch. So, for me, my year started off pretty well. You know, YouTube was going well, but now it's going kind of great. Um, I'm not making videos on a regular basis, just when I have the free time and the desire I'm putting something up. Um, you know, once summer comes around, it'll start being fun again. <laughs> But for now, and actually my subscriber counts keep going up on this one. This is my vlog channel and I've got uh, 47 subscribers now. And it's also good because I've, I've got a good variety of videos. I do different type of things and because of that I've got a different variety of subscribers. And just like on my other channel, The Fan Perspective, I'm up to 68 subscribers now. On there I talk about sports, specifically NFL, NBA, and WNBA. And like, you know, I know that I have certain subscribers who are just there for the WNBA videos. I have sons who are just there for the NBA. Others who just want to hear me talk about the NFL. Some of them who talk, who, I've got a couple of people who will comment on both the NFL and the NBA videos. And I'm used to getting, gotten used to their names, seeing their screen names and stuff. And, you know, it's just like that on this channel. Whenever I put up a movie review, like for SourceFed Movie Club or whatever, you know, I can usually expect Camera Eye to comment, you know, whenever I put up an anime review for SourceFed Nerd, you know, I'm always expecting Grace to put, to say something, and so, and I also know that there are certain videos that, you know, I really don't expect, you know, sp different people to watch or whatever, but, you know, it's good, you know, I've got, as of now, uh, 47 subscribers, 13,000 views, I'm not going to do the math on that, but, uh, so yeah, YouTube's going pretty well for me, and it's, there are times w when it's more fun than others. Uh, but right now my main focus is school. I really, this year I got really heavy into my degree plan. Uh, the previous semester I did, uh, TV production, uh, and film and video editing, and those were great. I took a couple other classes that both sucked, but, and I also took a music appreciation class which was basically like a music history class talking about the origins of music up to modern day stuff and it's actually, it was actually pretty interesting I've always loved music and it's good to know more about it and but yeah I'm starting a lot meeting a lot of new people getting some good experience and like I said I took that video editing class and you know the more the more practice I get with it the more comfortable I'm getting so yeah for about a year now, I've known how to edit videos, and as you as you'll see with the videos, I'm gonna start putting up uh, soon. you I'm getting more and more comfortable with it, and yeah, I've got this semester. I had a TV field production, which uh, should have been more fun than anything I did last year because it's putting all the stuff I've learned to work. You know, copywriting, uh, TV production, video editing, it's all kind of coming into here because we had a multiple projects where we make, where we write a script, we film, we edit, you know, and all this other stuff. It ended up sucking just because, the, mostly because of the people I was working with, pretty much all because of the people I was working with. <sighs> this, uh, I, for me, it seems like no matter what the job is, you know, whether it's at school or at my actual paying job or just walking down the street, people just find a way to fuck everything up. I would actually love life if it just wasn't for the people in it. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. Uh, I... Uh, school wasn't as much fun as I was hoping it would be, but I got a lot done. I had an audio production class, and that went much better than I thought. I already got my final grade for that. I've got a 100, and that's just awesome. When you can get a 100 in the class, that's great. Keep that GPA up. You know, worst case scenario, I'm pretty confident that the lowest grade I should get in this year semester would still be a B. You know, I had my radio experience class, so I was actually on air at our school's radio station for six weeks, which I hated. And 
I had, I also had, I talked about film production already. You know, we did a few different projects. You know, got a chance to film and edit. And the biggest thing I learned from that is that I cannot wait till I'm actually working with paid professionals who know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> because I, sp I spent the entire semester with working with a bunch of people who have no idea what they're doing, but they think they know everything and refuse to listen to reason. You know, it, it's really, nothing sucks more than when you have e the same amount of experience as, some, as someone. You know, this e when, you, when you have equal or greater knowledge or experience than someone else and they think that they know better than you and refuse to listen to a word you say, it's so fucking frustrating. And I mean, that's one of the classes that I, one of two classes where I think I might get a B, but I definitely feel like I could have gotten an A in that class if I had done more, but it's hard for me to be more assertive because it feels like up to a certain point, you know, logic and reasoning doesn't work and you gotta punch somebody. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was a frustrating year for me and that was that was supposed to be my fun class. That was the one I was most looking forward to because, you know, more than half of the people in that class, uh, the majority of them I already knew ahead of time, either from from working with them at the station or from other classes I'd had in previous years. And it would yeah, uh, and we were creating our own projects and we were doing all of the work, filming and editing and everything. And it just it was supposed to be fun. It was the worst experience of my life, if I'm being completely honest with you. And it's, it has nothing to do with the class itself. It was a great class. Our instructor did an amazing job. I paid it. I was. It was easy to pay attention to the things he was saying. You know, he lec his lectures weren't boring. They were interesting. He gave us facts. You know, he gave us stories. There was a good dis discussion going back and forth. And I feel like I honestly learned a lot. And I. But it was the hands-on part where we're actually doing working on the projects. Uh, I just don't think I had any amazing groups. I mean, I, I, the first group I worked with was okay, and, you know, we did a, well, I feel like we ended up doing a great job on the project, but they basically squeezed me out of it, and I just, I wanted to be involved and actually, you know, do something, and in the end, I was just, ended up just being, he doing some heavy lifting, carrying some materials and stuff, to the, carrying all our stuff to the site where we filmed. But, uh, in, but the other two, uh, my god, horrible. Anyways, um, this video is dragging on way longer than I had planned on it, but yeah. I got a lot of good work done. Creative writing was a class that I wasn't sure what to expect. It ended up being the most fun one. I th I took it because I figured it would be the easiest because I am a creative person and I've been writing for since I was like 13, which is, so it's been 10 years now. I'm 23. Yay! Happy de uh, decade anniversary. It's not even a word. <laughs> And that ended up being the most fun class because, you know, I got to practice writing. I got to read a lot of stories. And it turns out, you know, there are some good writers out there who have some interesting ideas. You know, the world is full of a lot of very, you know, very good writers. A lot of good, uh, there are a lot of great stories out there. And I feel like I need to step up my game to make sure I stay above the rest. And, you know, I did, I learned a lot, you know, about developing a story, you know, developing your characters. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I also learned about being a better writer, which I don't necessarily want to know because the writing itself I don't like. Now, I don't actually want that to be my main profession. It's something I'm glad, you know, it's one of those skills that you're glad you have it. You know, I'm glad I know all this stuff. It's a good skill to have, but it's not what I want to spend my entire life doing. You know, it's like changing a tire. I know, you know, it's, you should know how to change a tire. But it's not, but how many people actually want to spend the rest of their life, like, in a garage, just changing tires? So, yeah. That, so, yeah, that's been my year. Uh, things have been going great. I haven't had as much chance to work on some of my own personal projects, working on my own stories. You know, as soon as I finished my finals and stuff, I sat down and started working on a story of mine. I got a few pages through that I had a few pages done, you know, and that just felt great to get that done and out of the way because, 
I feel like I gone. I haven't walked on a single story since September because I've been so busy and I've gotten like two hours of sleep. Oh my fucking god! I'm really looking forward to summer. And I'm definitely looking forward to next year because by this time in 2014, I should have two degrees, an AA and an AAS. Uh, basically the same thing, but whatever. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, so next year's year in review might be even more fun. Uh, anyways, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, I'm tired. It's one o'clock right now and I haven't had breakfast yet. I spent the morning scrubbing my house down and uh, I recorded a couple videos. I've got to edit a few things. I'm going to get something to eat. Uh, so yeah, S stick around, hopefully uh, things continue to progress, I mean hopefully if I, by this time next year, you know, maybe I'll have 90 subscribers, that, that'll be good, that's a good number, right? We'll shoot for 60, <laughs> we'll shoot for 60, but 90 will be like an A++++, <laughs> um... I guess I should. I guess if I really want subscribers, I should tell people to like and subscribe and comment or whatever. But I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You can do whatever the fuck you want. If you feel the need to comment, I'll, I read every single comment, and sometimes I respond, sometimes I don't. I've always been more of an observer than an interactor, which is why YouTube was a, is definitely good for me because I can observe and interact without fear of like long-term permanent damage to my life. Because I'm, oh, I'm not stupid enough to do... I'm not one of those people who's going to just stand in front of a camera waving my junk around on the screen. I'm not going to do anything reckless. But, you know, I'm learning to come out of my shell more thanks to this whole YouTube thing. You know, I'm not afraid to have someone disagree with me. I'm not afraid to have my opinions disproved. So, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm a little sick right now, but I'm feeling much better. Uh, my back was tightening up on me at work a little bit, but, oh, I'm actually going to be getting three days off in a row now, so I don't go back into work again till Thursday. Yay! I'm going to do some Christmas shopping tomorrow. I think I already said that. What the fuck? Uh, and also with work, I kind of made the decision I'm going to, I don't know if I mentioned, I might have mentioned this before in the other video. But either way, I kind of made the decision that I'm going to be cutting back my hours at work next semester so that I can concentrate on school. Because this semester I barely made it through alive. Uh, I mean, so that's one thing. Work kind of sucks. People keep quitting, but we've made it enough higher. But at least for now, I can afford to take a little more time. Uh, we'll see what happens once January comes around because, like, November, December are usually our busiest times of the year. Which sucks because of, fi yo, I start getting overtime right when finals comes around. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah. I'm gonna turn this camera off right now. This video is too fucking long.